Two, one. <laughs> I think I on my lip. <laughs> Told you to shave, buddy. <laughs> I do not have a mustache. <laughs> you are a bit ashamed of yourself. <laughs> it's probably hair from your beard. It probably is. <laughs> Hello, family. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela, and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. If you're returning, hey, girl, hey, how are you doing? Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it over here. Now, today's video is all about dating yourself. Last week, I did a video on dating over 40, although a lot of those tips were for anyone that's dating in today's atmosphere and time. Now, if you'd like to hear what I have to say about dating yourself, then stay tuned. Now, let's get started. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Okay, before I get started, you all always want to know what my outfit of the day is. And this dress is from the Monroe Steel Something by Sonya Collab. It is really, really pretty. It only came in this blue color. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, I will put a link to it. It does have this sash here and this is detachable. This part is not, but it's very comfortable. Um, if they don't have this, there is another burgundy dress. I do have that dress and I do have the two piece gray um, set as well. They're all extremely comfortable and I love them. Oh, I didn't talk about the earrings. The earrings are from Kendra Scott. I think I got these at Nordstrom. And the shoes <laughs> are from Steve Madden. I bought these last year. I do have a um, clutch that goes with these. They're a uh, cow print. I thought they were very, very cute. So, and my scent of the day is uh, Decadence by Marc Jacobs. This has been out for quite some time, but it's cold outside and it's, it's rainy and I wanted something really, really warm to kind of balance that coldness. And so I chose this and it has a lot of, um, spice in it, but it's like a sweet spice. I just love this, especially around Christmas and Thanksgiving is what it kind of reminds me of, but it doesn't have a lot of nutmeg or cinnamon in it, but it's just a sweet, spicy, warm, warm scent. I love it. So that is my scent of the day. Also, I will put links to all of these in the description box of the video. If you can't find that, or if you don't want to look there, you can always go to my website, angelamichelle.com and look under my YouTube, shop my YouTube videos, and you'll see a picture of the perfume. And if the dress is still available, I'll put a picture of this and a picture of the shoes and the clutch that go with it. Right on the website where you can just click the picture and it'll take you directly to the store so you can purchase if you like to. All that you said in sickness, health, split in, and you too. Oh! Oh, I'm calling OSHA. There was a near miss accident and it shall be reported. <laughs> so I really wanted to create this video and piggyback off the dating over 40 to talk about dating ourselves. I had to do this um, prior to coming to Saudi and in between some relationships and it was a challenging thing to do, but you know, when I sat down and thought about it, you know, it's something I deserved. I deserve to feel special. I deserve to have the pitter patter of my heart that I feel when I'm meeting someone new and going out and doing all those special things. And I had to learn how to do those things for myself. So I wanted to create this video and give uh, you ladies and, and gentlemen, if you're watching, some tips on how to date yourself because it's not something that really comes naturally and it's not something people normally talk about, but I think it's really, really important as we're doing the work to become the best versions of ourselves, whether that's going to therapy, whether it's looking in the mirror and taking a, a strong look at how we are in relations to other people and in the world, how we present ourselves, what we bring to the table type of thing. I thought it was very, very important to talk about dating ourselves and just making ourselves feel special so that, that we're not having those uh, butterflies when we meet other people and we start dating. We need to feel those butterflies now. We need to feel, oh my God. We need to feel special now and do those special sort of things that we normally do for ourselves once we start dating. We do those things now. So I want to create this video and talk about those tips. So the first thing that I think we need to do is to remember to treat ourselves the way we want to be treated, or where the, the way we expect someone to treat us. And that means stop putting yourself down. Don't say negative things about yourself. When you pass by the mirror, oh my God, look at, look at my gut. Cause we all, listen, we all got one. 
if you're over 40, unless you're working really hard, you got a little pledge. But anyway, stop rocking past the mirror and saying negative things about yourself unless you're planning on fixing that situation and fixing it soon. So if you got a little gut and you pass by the mirror and you know that you started working out and you can say to that little gut, hey, I see you, but it's going to be bye-bye time for you pretty soon. And as soon as I can get rid of you, you out the door that sort of thing. But if you're not working on or plan on working on getting rid of what you perceive as a flaw when you walk past the mirror, don't say anything negative about it. It is what it is. It's not going to go away. If you can't fix it, then it just is. Instead, say something nice about something you do like. You walk past and, and your gut is there. She's there. She, she's there. She's going to be a, a, a fixture and you have beautiful lips. Say, girl, look at them lips. I see you. I see you lips lipping. <laughs> I see you. Say something positive, something uplifting, because you wouldn't let or allow, and you shouldn't let or allow someone to say something about your gut. If you you don't, you know, you wouldn't want a man saying, girl, look at that gut. Look at that. You don't want anybody, for that matter, your ki kids can be treacherous. <laughs> your kids, your parents, whomever, you wouldn't allow that and you wouldn't want that to be said to you. So don't say it to yourself. So that is tip number one. Treat yourself the way you want that other person to treat you. Tip number two is plan or schedule a date night for yourself just like you would if you were going on a date with a man if you're going to do dinner in the movie if you're going to go see a play or if you're going to go uh, to a to the opera or whatever you're going to see you're going to the circus or Cirque du Soleil Cirque du Soleil is amazing whatever you're going to do or normally what you would do when you're going on a date do that for yourself and schedule it that way you know it's coming you know to prepare for it okay on next Friday, I'm going to do dinner and a movie. So um, if you need to plan ahead and call the restaurant and schedule, uh, it's not scheduled. What is it, honey? I make reservations. Yes. <laughs> if you need to call the restaurant and make reservations, you go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pre-purchase your tickets. Go ahead and get your outfit together. Get your hair together like you normally would if you were going on a date with a man. Pick out your, your outfit and your shoes and your purse, your perfume. If you normally put makeup on when you're going out, if you don't, that's fine too. Put you some chapstick on or some lip gloss. Whatever you would normally do when you're going on a date with a significant other or your man or your woman or what have you, then do that for yourself as well. You deserve to feel special. You deserve that experience. And yes, you should do it for yourself. Schedule it. That way you're more apt to do it. It is uncomfortable at first. It feels, it feels kind of weird. I'm just going to be honest with you. It feels kind of weird. Now I personally used to love going to the movies by myself. I didn't go on at night. I used to go like if I were off on a Tuesday, I'd go on a Tuesday afternoon. It was perfect. But then I gradually learned to do that by myself on a Friday or Thursday night as well. I would plan my date night. I'd take myself out to eat. Most of the time it was out back and I sit at the, um, at the bar and had my coconut shrimp, which I absolutely love. And then one drink and then I eat that and about three loaves, <laughs> about three loaves of that bread. It's so good. It's so bad for you. And then I just take myself to the movies right around the corner. But you know, it was, it, it felt weird at first. It, it, it felt strange. It was a bit challenging. And, and honestly, I think the first couple of times I didn't feel sad, but I was kind of wishing somebody was there with me, but it was okay. I was there with myself. Eventually I learned to love, I loved, learned to love going out by myself. It was just me. And then, you know, every now and then I have a gentleman that would speak to me and uh, carry on a conversation at the bar, what have you. And that was fine too, but learn how to date yourself and plan a date night for yourself. Okay. The third thing you need to do, and you've heard me talk about this on, on several occasions for other reasons, but save for a rainy day. You know how when you have, you've ever had like two flat tires or it's time to buy some new tires or the transmission about to go out on your car and you tell your boyfriend, oh, the transmission is going out in my car. Or I need some new tires. And he kind of comes to your rescue and makes you feel amazing. Girl, go ahead and save for the rainy day. Put you a rainy day fund. Make it automatic so that it automatically comes out so that you're not having to do it. If it automatically comes out of your account, even if it's $20, $25 a paycheck, you're not having to think about it. And that money accumulates, not faster, but it accumulates consistently, which obviously then it's going to be faster. But you do that because you don't want to find yourself in a position where you're sad because you can't take care of this. And it just, oh, if I had somebody, they'd better help me with this bill or they'd better help me with that. 
make certain you save for a rainy day so that you can take care of yourself and offer yourself. I know it's your money and you saved it, but offer yourself or save yourself in that sort of situation. The fourth way you can date yourself and kind of make your fifth your fifth. <laughs> the fourth way you can date yourself, and I think this is really sweet, is to buy yourself flowers. Fresh flowers have a way of just brightening up the space, brightening up your home, making it feel warm and welcome. And they're so synonymous with love and friendship and, and being cherished. And it's just a reminder to cherish yourself. You can buy enough just to put on your dining room table or put in your living room, wherever you're gonna be sitting a lot or you can buy bunches to put, you can put some in your bedroom on your nightstand that is so nice to wake up to fresh flowers in the morning. Or you can put some in your bathroom if you have lots of windows in your bathroom. Because whatever space you put it in, it's gonna brighten up the space. But it's just a, a, a reminder that you're special and, and you deserve fresh flowers. Now, you may have someone like myself. I love fresh flowers but you're gonna get a real big smile on my face if you give me a plant, something I can put some, some uh, fertilizer in or and repot in another pot and then watch it grow. That's gonna really, really make me happy. And that'll just come if you like flowers. And now, now if you're like, like my daughter Shadia, um, I shouldn't be telling her business, but she will kill everything you... <laughs> Don't talk about my daughter like You're that. taking her out. I got her cactus in my kitchen because the t the cactus was about to die. It was on its last leg and I had to I had to give it CPR and it's in my kitchen right now. I told her she could take it back home but she said no, she's gonna leave it here for a while. You know your thumb is completely black if you kill a cactus, I'm just saying it. Anyway, buy yourself some fresh flowers to put in your home. <laughs> And the last tip for dating yourself, wait, 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 let me stop. Before I talk about this tip, I'm just saying, I keep seeing this reel on Instagram and the reel goes like this. When he asks you what you're bringing to the table, tell him you are the table. And every time I see that, I laugh because I don't know a man ever that's gone into the kitchen to look for the table. He, he don't care about what the table look like. He wanted to see if there's food, if there's something that's going to nourish his soul, something going to nourish his spirit on the table. He wants to see what you have. And then he can say, okay, I see she got all the side dishes. Let me bring the meat to the table. Let me bring something to drink. He's going to add to what's on the table. He don't care what that table made out of. He don't care what the table look like. He don't care that you're the table. He wants to know what you're bringing. What do you bring so that I can meet you halfway Sometimes I need to bring everything. Sometimes you may need to bring everything, but we're all about what's on the table, not that table itself. Don't listen to that. Don't, don't, don't be telling him you are the table because he can go buy a table at Kmart, Walmart, Target, whatever have you. Tables are a dime a dozen. They're everywhere. He wants to know what you individually are bringing to the table, just like you want to know what he's bringing to, ta bringing to the table. Just like you want to know what he's bringing to the table, don't you? So I think that's a very legitimate question. What do you, well, nobody's gonna come out and say, what do you bring to the table? They're gonna ask a lot of questions to determine what you're bringing to the table. If he asks you what you, he starts asking questions, asking, asking you questions about yourself and, and um, you don't have any answers. You, you brought water, you brought a glass of water to the table and uh, he can go outside and stand in the rain with his mouth open to, to, to uh, quench his thirst. That is just not, a, that is not don't y'all fall for that uh, real. It's fake and it's a farce. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that just, I didn't think about that. Anyway, okay, now let me go home to uh, tip number five when dating, for dating yourself. You need to consistently do all those things that you normally do, especially early on in a relationship. When you meet someone new or you met someone and oh, he asked you on a date, girl, you going to the nail salon to make certain them nails are on, on point. You want to make sure your nails are done. You got your hair all done real nice. You might go to the beauty parlor that Saturday afternoon. If you have a date that Saturday night, you're going in the closet, you're cleaning out the closet and you're finding something really, really nice to wear. Do all those things for yourself. You're giving yourself a facial, do a facial for yourself. Plan yourself or schedule yourself a facial once a month. Now, I personally believe that facials, well, I'm not going to say they're overpriced, but they're they're a bit expensive. They can be a bit expensive and and it may not be in everyone's budget. So, if you if it's not in your budget, this is what you do. You save a little coin on the side. 
You go to Family Dollar or the Dollar Store. You can buy yourself a pretty basket. If you have a little more corn, you can go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and get you a pretty little basket and call it your spa day basket. And then uh, over time, buy yourself some facial masks, some nail polish, some nail polish remover, some stuff to put on your feet. So a, a nice robe, a nice wine glass, a nice bottle of glass and, and call it your self care basket, your spa day basket. This is all about me basket. And once a week or once every two weeks, you you set us, <laughs> you set aside some time, a couple of hours. Yes. You, you, you deserve a couple of hours or three to give yourself a spa day. You do your fingernails, you do your toenails, you give yourself a good facial, you put the towel on or whatever you're gonna put on your hair, you have your glass of wine, you listen to a book on tape or you read a book on tape and you're watching YouTube, you just do whatever you want to do to relax. So if you like to take baths, you get you some bath bombs in there. I'm personally, that is not me. But if you love to sit in the tub, get you some bath bombs and or even buy you a nice towel at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They have really nice towels and washcloths. Now you may only be able to find a towel and the washcloth might not match, but it'll be a nice quality towel and washcloth. It doesn't matter. It's about the experience. It's about making yourself feel special and doing all those things that you normally will do for yourself if you're dating someone else, you deserve that treatment now, just because you're you just for, just for you to feel special and treat yourself. You're going to do it when you meet him or yes, you'll do it when you meet him. You should be doing that now. So you get used to that sort of thing. Um, and you don't have to rush and start trying to figure out how to do that or do that. When you meet someone, you deserve that for yourself. So I, certainly and I highly recommend that you treat yourself and do all those little things that you do for yourself. When you meet someone, you get them eyebrows arched, you get the waxing, all that stuff that you do when you meet a new man, do it for yourself and do it consistently on a regular. And that's the person you're bringing to the table. You're bringing your authentic self, but yourself that you you've done the work. You've been working on yourself mentally. You've been going to counseling or you've been trying to think of look in the mirror and what things I need to change about myself, not for him, but for you to make myself better. And you've been doing that. You got your little nails done or you don't have any nail polish at all on. If that's, that's your business, that's your judge, that's what you like, then don't do that. But but, um, but if that's what you like doing and you just kind of fall off and don't do it for yourself and do it when you meet someone else, no, you need to do that now. Go ahead and do that now. Make sure your hair is always done. It's, it doesn't have to be completely done all the time. But if you're getting your hair done every week just because you met a man, nope, you deserve to do that right now. Take care of your hair, condition it, wash it the way you're doing when you meet someone. Do all those things that make you feel special when you're meeting him that you're doing to make him feel special as well do it for yourself. Well, that's it family. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget head over to my website, angelamichelle.com. Every week I upload the YouTube videos and any items that I'm showing that you want to know about. Like for instance, the lipstick color that I'm wearing or the outfit I'm wearing. I post that on my website with a picture so you can click on that and it'll take you directly to the store that, um, I purchased the item from if it's still available. And also I'm starting some blogging over there. So you'll see the top on the top, it says, um, blog and you can click on it and see what my blog is for the week or for, I'm going to try to do one every week or every two weeks minimum. So that is it. But again, thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me. I greatly appreciate it. I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.